Welcome back to another episode of Cactus Core Plays Phoenix Wright. My name is Bobby. I'm Kivandre. What was the name of that Phoenix Wright sequel? Uh, it was a Phoenix Wright. Oh. Uh, Justice for All? That's there it. There we go. <laughs> One of these days I'll remember it. So, last time, we did a thing. Oh, yeah. Did we? Yeah. We actually made progress, because we were like, no, we have to make progress this episode. <laughs> and we actually did something. And then we came here, we talked to her, and she was just like, oh, no, I actually did it. We had a whole bunch of theories. Uh some of which I'm sure is probably going to become right, because we're fantastic at these games. Yeah. Don't doubt it. And then, uh, yeah, now we're here. Yeah. Very vague. Like, shut the fuck up. Uh, you do the recap, then. No. <laughs> it's your it's your series. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, but, you know, it's been a week since I've done it, and, you know, you you do the editing. So. I didn't edit the last one. Oh, good. It's <laughs> been a week since we've both seen the last episode. <laughs> we have no idea what the fuck happened. Did we already talk to her? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we should probably go. And we were gonna do a thing. Usually you can go back here and it'll tell you what to do. Yeah. So, back at the law offices, where we are lawyers. <laughs> you know, just. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't warm up my voice because I'm terrible. That's fine. You know, it, it's to the <laughs> shoddiness that our customers expect. Hi, customers. Anyways, uh, you know, so. Colonel Metal Gear Otacon. <laughs> yeah. Phew, it looks like I've been gone forever. But it's only been one day. Oh, that's right. No, I'm right. Calm the fuck down. Oh. <laughs> Where's that newspaper Dr. Gray brought the other day? Oh yeah, oh look, it's right there. <laughs> ah, here it is. Right on top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. Newspaper clipping. Added to the court record. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died from malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. Okay. Do we need to explore everything in here again? I mean, we did that first game. A poster of the TV action hero, the Steel Samurai. Maya stuck it up here right before she left. Classic Maya. Love her so much. I wouldn't say that the Steel Samurai and an attorney's office are a good match, but Maya threatened to curse me with some magic spell, so I guess I can stay. And it's related to the law practice. Right? It's like, yeah, we saved that guy. That's what we did. Oh, hey, look, it's a ficus. <laughs> Charlie, a quite decorative plant. It's a memento of my boss, Mia, who passed away. Looks just like her. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of the room may be in shambles, but I always manage to care for this little fella. Yeah, it's nice. You know, it's cozy. Okay, uh, enough of that. Back to Kurain Village, you know, just two hour time skip. Oh yeah, that's right, the trial is tomorrow and we gotta figure out what the fuck's going on. Yes. Yes, because that's how, that's how law works. I have to save Maya, no matter what. It's her life on the line. What in the world happened in that room yesterday? Man, if only we could have been in the room where it happens. The room where it happens. The room where it happens. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We need Edgeworth here, because he's the one who can sing about that. Yes. <laughs> uh, is there anything we need to examine here? I mean, not... No, I don't think okay. anything's yeah. changed, right? Right. Probably just the meditation room, and gotta go into here and talk to fucking people, and a lot of heart. The meditation room nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums in training, I'd wager... But well, it's pretty deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. Yeah, people tend not to be in the same room where people were murdered. Oh, do they? Yeah. Is that true? They all gather there for like, you know, a few hours because it's interesting. And then they disperse and then they avoid it like the plague. Oh, that's true. Uh, unless you're white people in a horror movie. Then you're fucked. Oh yeah, we were supposed to give the thing to Pearl, right? Yes. We got like that little green nine Yeah, the, thing. Little, the little green jade pendant thingy. The That's thing right. Nine? Yeah. Okay. Lamau. Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school? Uh, sure. Let's uh, go to the side room. See my side chick. Garrison, I know you saw that joke coming. I don't care. <laughs> oh, hey! Like, you're the guy from yesterday? The, uh, dentist guy? 
No, no. I'm a lawyer. That's right. Um, Mr. Smith, Esquire? <laughs> That's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is right. Smith, right. Well, I got like three letters at least. Uh, sure. It's okay. I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, why are you here? Why are you, why are you doing that little dance? Calm the fuck down. So, like, I study this thing called parapsychology at this college, and... Yeah, you study the psychology of parases. It, it's great. It's a fine Pokemon. Yeah, don't grass bug. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, you told me about that yesterday. The sesame allergy, too. What the fuck is a sesame? <laughs> what I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. So, like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Uh, sorry. My bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... Uh, huh? That's it? <laughs> Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Uh, if Lana ever wanted another genuine mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. Yeah, I, I like when she hits herself on the head and her little tongue blips out. Yeah. Blip. Oh, crap, we gotta do a whole bunch of talking with her, don't we? Yeah. But uh, you like you, Nah, uh, do I? You said so. Yeah, did I? You said she was best girl. No. No? If she turns out to be, like, the one who did it and super psychotic evil, then maybe. Oh. Right? Yeah, you got a weird type. Yeah. <laughs> so, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like what? Like, the mediums on training or, like, how they inherit their spiritual power. I suppose. This village is the real thing, after all. So, like, I asked if I could stay here for, like, a little longer. She sure seems like the carefree type. At least, on the surface. I don't believe her. We gotta look deeper, Phoenix. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we gotta go deeper into her. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Have you heard about the murder? It's, like, totally scary. I don't know. If someone's that stupid, are they legally able to consent? I don't think so. <laughs> 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 She says, with a silly smile plastered on her face. So, do you know anything about it that might help? Somehow I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. Yeah, that's a fair point. About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think you asked about him, like, yesterday, too? That's right. Her reaction yesterday when I asked was... Time skip. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't <laughs> know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh... Like, a long, long time ago, I was, like, a patient. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. She is definitely hiding something from and, me. And you'll recall that Dr. Gray is McLovin. Yes. Um, Everybody knows that McLovin became a doctor afterwards. Yeah. And, and then, killed a whole bunch of his patients. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, that seems consistent with his character. It. Yeah, it... You look at, you look yeah. at his doctor's uh, credential on the wall, and it's just like the, the Hawaii thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> your your Dr. McLovin a real doctor? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whole name. Yeah. Seth Rogen was there. He's like <coughs> And then like uh he's like giving the thumbs up that it's okay. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well I suppose that's all he's good for. Because he's a cat. Nah, that that is all Seth Rogen is good for, you know, ruining movies. Oh shit. Did I already say this line? I don't remember. No, fuck it. <laughs> okay, she is definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Uh, I don't suppose there's anything. We need to, maybe this? Sure. 
Like, I'm really sorry, but... And I know, like, you totally had your heart set on it, but I can't, like, take it. Who said anything about giving this to you? Oh, she can't take it. Turns out, didn't know. Okay, so she's pretty frickin' weird. We've already examined everything there is in here, I believe. Was that bench there before? Mm, no. Ha! <laughs> now where did this box come from? I'm sure this wasn't here last night. That's what I was thinking. It looks like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for just clothes. It's pretty big for a uh, corpse. It's mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of channeling costumes sit at the bottom. And for some reason, this is letting me search it again. It's a bear with a fish? It's a decorative wooden bear sculpture. There's a plate attached to the base. Kurin Village, the heart of channeling. What the? It's a souvenir. Yeah, we uh, know that. Isn't it cute? I, like, totally bought that. Oh. Ah, so it's yours, huh? Yeah, so, like, this village is really famous for, like, channeling and bears. <laughs> Wait, famous for bears? <laughs> but it's, like, okay. If you ever, like, see a bear, you just play dead, and they, like, leave you alone. Uh, <laughs> is that right? Yeah, because, like... Fighting back is totally of no use. Yeah, I agree. It's of totally no use. If you see a black bear, though, it doesn't matter. He wants to eat you by the time he saw you. Your bitch ass better run. <laughs> a lot of other bears, they're just like, oh, you know, fuck it. We'll, we'll just leave that weirdo alone. You know, go this way. Not black bears. Black mm -hmm. bears are awful. Yeah. Racist. No. Not that. <laughs> Man, fuck you. <laughs> Has she actually tried to fight one? Yeah, don't fight bears. You're a little bit in Moscow. <laughs> you can fight bears all the time. Yeah, if you're Sergei, you can fight a bear. Oh, wait, okay. this is the wrong game. Uh, I don't think we really have anything else to present to her. If we don't run across Pearl, I'd say maybe come back and present the green thing. What about our attorney's badge? Oh, yeah. Hey, have you seen this? Would you take a look at this? Hey, it's like one of those little badges people in Congress all wear. No, no, no. I'm a lawyer. Lawyer. L-A-W-Y-E-R. Uh, triple dots? Like, so is that what you are? The bitch stupid. <laughs> <laughs> or she's faking it incredibly well, which, you know... I've been fooled by women faking it before. Just fake it if you're out of direction. There's nothing... Channeling chamber. Yeah. But there's nothing new to examine anywhere else as far as I can tell. Alright, so now we end the chamber. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. I should take this chance and thoroughly check this room. If I'm lucky... I might uncover a clue or two. What? <laughs> <laughs> this bitch. Oh, Mr. Wright! <laughs> good morning. I am on my way to go meet Mystic Maya. See, now, good morning there. They could have added, like, a little U into it. You know, good morning. Good morning. morning. <laughs> right? Oh, a clever joke, sir. I, I like it when sometimes you catch editors slip, like, a little thing in like that, and it gets past... Yes. You know, everybody. Yes. Uh, an Alkaline Trio album? We need some Good Morning. What's an Alkaline Trio? It's a band. I don't believe you. That sounds like too dumb to be a band name. Uh, they had like two semi-hits back in the early aughts, I want to say. But I think that that's the only song from them that I know. Okay. You know a lot more music than I do. Yeah. Even though I come from the music capital of the world. Yeah, but not good music. It's just the music capital of the world. Yeah, but generally not, though. But also, <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if you know that. I do not, because it's country. It's not all country. Well, it's trash. I'm not saying country isn't trash. <laughs> I'm just saying that Nashville is the music capital of the world. Yeah. Which is why so many people who are, who are big in the music scene came from Nashville. Except for Paramore and Miley Cyrus. 
a lot of people that are really big in the music scene either came from Nashville or went to Nashville to get big. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's how that works. I don't think so. Oh, okay. It was cursed. Was it? You said. You're the one who told me about it. Okay, what was the curse? Is that nobody was from Nashville that was big. Except for Paramore. And then Miley Cyrus. Okay. I don't think you knew about the curse. You told me about it. You know nothing about it. That's all I know about it because that's all you told me. That is not all I told you. It's we even looked said. it up to make sure to get all the dates and stuff for, right. For fuck's sake. It's it's true. <laughs> it's what he told me. I told him a lot more than that and he completely forgot about it. And well, now, I'm the one who added the Miley Cyrus now, part. You now my trust Paramore. is betrayed. Because they were the one that finally broke the curse. Yeah. But that's all you said. But I added Miley Cyrus. Without really explaining the curse. She's from there. Here's an idea. Go look it up, folks. The Nashville curse. It's a true thing. Yeah, Billy Goats uh, <laughs> fucked it up. Billy Goats. You know, the Billy Goats curse It is applied to Nashville as well, but in regards to music instead of baseball. What? The Billy Goat curse, the Chicago Cubs. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay. Uh, so, like, <laughs> early 1900s, there was a dude who went to a Cubs game. And he brought his goat with him. and Makes sense. I would do the same. Right. And so, like, the people were like, hey, that goat smells bad. You need to get the fuck out of here. And he's like, no, 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 no. They're, I'm not leaving. And then they, they, they kicked him and his goat out. And he says, I curse this place. You will never win here again. Now, they did win. But they didn't win a World Series until nearly 100 years later. And then and- people said it was the Billy Goat curse. That's the first time I felt that called the Billy Goat Curse. Oh, yeah. Dresden even mentions it a few times. Does he? Yeah. There's even a short story about it in oh. brief cases. Well, that might be why I completely looked over it, because I don't read the short stories. Yeah, you and Garrison, I don't know you people. If it's not worth getting into a main book, I don't care. I, I, I do not understand this. It's very stupid and, and silly. Says is Nashville. It, is it? Anyway, continue the game. Anyways... Did you say this uh, Yes, one? I did. Okay. And I thought to bring her some <laughs> items to make her feel for a lot more at home. Thank you for interrupting my sentence for quite some time, though. <laughs> Namely, tea so bitter you lose your tongue and jaw-droppingly large strawberry dessert. Well, this is disturbing because we were just talking about strawberries. Strawberry beret. <laughs> Puree. Anyways. Bidet. <laughs> a strawberry bidet. I like that. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. That's Mystic Maya, good sir. No. No, it's not. That is Mahogany! <laughs> she is one scary lady. I threw my irises and pupils in the trash. Sometimes. And then I'd get them out. After Bobby flipped them and wouldn't show them to me. Oh dear, sweet Mystic Maya. <laughs> the fuck is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping your irises, but not showing them to you? Yeah, and then you throw it in the trash. Oh, to okay. To disprove uh, Schrodinger. No, hold on now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Pearl wept constantly for your last night. We're not getting into that, because we wouldn't have an episode after after that conversation. I would... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, out of context, it doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> it doesn't, but we're going to certainly have a discussion at some point. <laughs> Just not in a game that requires a whole bunch of, you know, dialogue. Oh my. I know it's important for me to search the site, but I should ask her some questions, too, while I have the chance. So, uh, yeah, how's it going? Have you, uh, you seen this? Oh my! What is it? It's my husband's cock ring. <laughs> that, that is Mystic Maya's Magatama. Why do you have this in your possession? Uh, I'm sorry. Return it to Mystic Maya at once. Yes, madam. What did it feel like I was being scolded by my own mother just now? I am your mother. Oh shit. So yeah, tell me about what happened. I would like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tragedy? 
Yeah, I don't know which one you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. But, also, look, her little Magatama, it, it's brown here, but for some reason it's green in our hands. So That's interesting. Yeah. Is it usually brown on, on Maya? You know, I don't really recall. I also don't know what her little pearl necklace is actually attached to. So... Uh. It's just stapled to her fucking... Yeah, stapled to the collarbone. Collarbones, that's it. Anyway. You couldn't remember the word collar? I couldn't at the time. Oh, okay. Anyway. Oh, yeah. And then I'm supposed to be changing my voice for this, aren't I? Yeah, you were supposed to do like a like a Cockney accent. Fuck. Is what we decided. But I don't know Cockney. <laughs> that bloke, he murdered me. <laughs> That's fine. I'll just do it. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. As a gruff man? As a gruff man. Who's supposed to be this tiny nurse coming out of Maya's body. That bloke, he murdered me. <laughs> and I, I so I killed him. Uh, Maya. Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the Popo. Mr. Popo. Also known as Bobby's. <laughs> what happened here in this room after I left? Well, first I struck Mystic Maya on the head. With a 2 by 4 I keep in my pants. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> to make her go unconscious, correct? She was very scary. That is correct. Next, I performed the spirit severing technique. Spirit severing technique? The spirit of that nurse was inside of Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. I wonder if this kind of testimony is even admissible in a court of law. Probably not. But stranger things have happened in actual real life court. Yeah, so. there's several seasons. Wait. Of stranger things. Continue, I'm sorry. <laughs> For some reason, I thought you were about to say Judge Judy. That shit's whacked. But no, no, you want Stranger Things, well, and that's, that's what you even said. worse because it wasn't in court. Judge Joe Brown <laughs> is my preferred judge. <laughs> Very <Gross. well. laughs> By the way, I would watch a show of that judge, <laughs> of the judge from Phoenix Wright, just actually doing trials. Yeah, like we splice it in. Right. <laughs> no, it's our judge, not the game's judge. Right. I should specify. With his pizzas and his sausages. And Taylor Swifting. And the baseball mitt penis. Yes. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> what is this room exactly? The channeling chamber. This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes when an inexperienced medium calls an especially strong spirit... That spirit may become violent and revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself steps aside. To put it another way, the spirit is borrowing the medium's body, good sir. Like you shouldn't. But isn't that extremely dangerous? An experienced medium has little problem controlling a spirit. But Maya, I mean, Mystic... Maya. That was her first channeling. And that was why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that it would be calling danger upon the client himself. I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible incident. And that would be... That folding screen there, it is the Curane Sacred Writings. Along with the Curane Sacred Urn. They are the village's most treasured possessions. You keep just like the urn on a bench outside. And it's like broken. <laughs> if I ever found out that something had happened to either one... Oh, the humanity. Odd for her to be worrying about the folding screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't just some dilapidated old screen after all. Oh, hey, by the way, where's your daughter? <laughs> so... How is Pearl today? Mr. Wright. Y yes In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. 
That that's very impressive. Until now, the women of the branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great that even greater than some of the main family. Yes, Pearl is a channeling prodigy and the pride of the branch family. Wow, she's really fired up now. In any case, our world is so different from yours, perhaps it is best for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? The game. Oh, no. Have you seen my attorney's match? I will be leaving shortly to meet with <laughs> Mystic Maya. I simply do not have the time to look at such trivial matters as Edward's pocket asshole. <laughs> you fucking bitch. All right, so let's uh let's examine. It's our not room. trivial. Oh, hey, we can actually examine this now. Maybe there's some empty space behind the folding screen. The light of the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. Is it? No. Nah. I hope no one is hiding back there. Is that called foreshadowing game? Mm. Uh, I think it is. Gotta get something to drink. Gotta get that. Alright, so back to the screen. It's a beautiful and expensive folding screen. It also looks quite old. There seems to be some sort of sacred text written on it, but I can't read it. And this is... It's a hole! Ho ho! Ho 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 ho! Look at that. Yeah. Could this have been made by a bullet? Folding screen added to the court record. We know it's a... Uh... We know it's all super important and all that stuff, but we're just going to stick this in our pocket. Mm -hmm. So about eight, about eight inches off the ground, measured with my dick, <laughs> is a small hole that looks like a bullet hole. Well then, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave. Alright. Bye, Felicia. Please tell Maya I said hi. What was that? I said, bye, Felicia. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> I will tell her. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <sighs> All right, so let's take a look at a bit more shit. Uh, mirror. I guess this is an altar. Whatever it is, it feels very important. A mirror-like object with a cloudy reflective surface. And some branches of a sacred tree have been set in a predetermined arrangement. I'd guess they're used during the channeling. Probably. Do you want me to be used during the channeling? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mrs. Channing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then there's the blood. Blood. <laughs> this is where the medium sits, I assume. There are four panels of this flooring. The straw on the flooring feels a little damp, probably from the humidity in the air. No matter, bleh, no matter what I do, my eyes keep getting drawn to the pool of blood in the center here. There's just a humidifier behind the screen. Yeah, just to make it seem eerie and different. The meditation room is on the other side of this very heavy-looking door. The lock on it is broken because, well, I broke it. Rude. It doesn't seem possible, but I managed to break it pretty badly. When we want to do something bad enough, people can do the most amazing things. Yeah, that's nice, right? Good for you. We're all very proud that you managed to beat down an old-ass door. It's pretty thick, though. Yeah. So is my dick, but it doesn't stop me from beating on it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I guess that's pretty it. So let's move back to the meditation room. Anything extra here to examine? And pretty much no. Ha ha ha. You surprised me. And how are you today? Huh. I guess she isn't open to friendly chatting. Uh huh. She's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Hey. And now we have to present her with this thing so she doesn't run away. The number nine? Oh, yeah. Maya said to give this to you. Oh shit. 
I'm in trouble now. If Morgan sees us like this, I'll be the next one they're channeling. That's... that's Mystic Maya's. Uh-huh. She actually spoke. Who are you? Uh, I'm Phoenix Wright. I, uh, worked with Maya. Y you worked with Mystic Maya? You... you're Mr. Nick, right? God damn it. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I bet I know who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're... You're Mystic Maya's special someone. Mm, oh shit! No, 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 no! <laughs> I like that face. <laughs> what? What? what, what? <laughs> so then, of course, you're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? Uh, well, yeah, I will. Oh wow! It's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. Oh, what? Little girl, you need to calm down. <laughs> Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya! Oh, what a wonderful relationship. Well, wait, I... Uh, I mean, we aren't... Things aren't like... <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you're a good person. Alright, Mr. Nick. Uh, you better stop that right now. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. Can you stop calling me Nick? Okay, well, first off, I've seen my strength match. I'm sure it is helpful to you in some way, but I'm still in training, so I don't know anything about it. I'm really deeply sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. I shouldn't have shown you something so trivial anyway. I'm very sorry. It feels so weird talking to a kid like this. Okay. So, now that we can talk to her. Pearl, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. The, the, the little bitty loopies on the back of her hair stand up? Yeah. That's freaking adorable. Okay. <laughs> I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Oh, wow. I had no idea Maya was so... revered. Only a little bit until she's exalted. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because... because you're special to her. Where in the world did you get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes. For example, I study the Curane technique. Uh, uh, ah, I get it. No, no, no. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. Lawyer? <laughs> yep. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Um. None that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. What the fuck? Maya did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's problematic in her. So, what do you got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Ha! <sighs> If you want it, I can give it to you. Yeah, alright. Mm. Alright. Well, if you really want to give it to me... Hehe. <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one, too. Black Key, added to the court record. Sure. Um, Mr. Nick? Yes, Pearls. I can call you that, right? You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you <laughs> sure it's okay for me to have this Magatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. Uh, spiritual energy? Well, I found if I plug it into the wall, it glows. And then yeah, Char me. charge it with the spiritual energy or with the USB port, same thing. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Lightning storm. <laughs> or I just plug it into an electrical socket. <laughs> Please take this. I'm sure it'll be helpful. Yeah, it's like, you know, you, you have a kid and he's trying to, like, stick a fort in a light socket. So you're just like, no, don't do that. Go play outside. Here's an umbrella. And it's into a thunderstorm and the umbrella is just, you know, torn to shreds. So it's yeah. really just like an electrical connect. I'm sure that's like a Far Side Comics or some stupid shit somewhere. Yeah. You ever uh, accidentally burn your house down? Almost? No. Like, at least, you know, start like a, a little fire and then you stamp that shit out real quick and then you don't mention it to anybody? No. Okay. Yeah, me neither. You sure? Seem like you have something to tell. <laughs> have, have some burden weighing you down? Need to get off your chest there, buddy? Back when I was like nine... Uh-huh. Uh, in the bonus room at my in my two-story house, because my, my dad did well with the internet in the early days. Um, so we had a, a nice two-story house, and that was pretty cool. Um, in, in the bonus room, which is where me and my sister mostly played video games, it was also where he kept all of his band equipment, right? So there was the guitars and bass and stuff and the drum kit in there. And at that time, I was like, oh, I should be a drummer when I grow up. So I was, like, playing on the drums all the time. And, like, they have these little brush things, mm -hmm. these little metal brush things that you go, tch, 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 so it doesn't make too much noise. Anyway, I, I was, like, uh, mo drumming with the brushes, and then I, I swiped my hand to the side, and the little metal brush tips went right into the electrical socket, and the car, it meant a spark, and it went on the carpet, and it burned the carpet a little bit, and I stamped that shit out real quick, and it, I never said a word to anybody, but they must have noticed it. Yeah. But nobody ever said anything. Yeah. It was pretty lucky. Well, it's a good thing your parents don't watch this channel. It's, that was a long time ago now. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, your little niece might you know, be able to snitch on you. No, I mean, it's been a long time, so who cares? We, we uh, haven't lived in that house for almost 20 years. My parents would care if I did something like that and never fessed up to it. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, there's tons of stuff like that that if my parents figured out that I was only responsible for, they'd still, you know, <laughs> like, come out here and beat my ass. Would they really? <laughs> they'd want to. Yeah. It'd be pretty close. They'd send me a PayPal to kick your ass? Yeah. Alright. And then you'd have to refund them because you couldn't kick my I ass I could not kick his to. ass. I mean, I've got, I've got, you know, weight and size on him in general, but I have no fighting style. Or muscle. So, <laughs> you know. But, do we want to call it here? Because it's about that time? Oh, shit! Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so we're going to call it here, and then next episode we're going to figure out what the fuck we're supposed to do with this uh, glowy number nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Didn't do a whole lot this Or is episode. it a six? It's a nine. Yeah, but no matter if you, even if it is a six, it's going to fall down and make it a nine. No, because you put the l uh, little string through the hole. Oh, All right, so it's not on. stringing through the hole. Or is it? It could be. Usually when I want to uh, string something, you know, I put it through the hole that's right there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I see a hole, I just gotta stick something in it. Whoop. Alright. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's do some shout-outs. Yeah, we should probably do that. Yeah. Then another uh, shambles. I'll go ahead and go first. Alright. Uh, so this shout-out is going to all of the parcel delivery service members. So, a lot of your FedExes, your UPS, your DHLs, your USPS, all them. Because they've been doing as well a job as they realistically could, despite this whole thing. And then, you know, some people up in, you know, political towns, you know, shit on, be like, oh, they're pretty much worthless. And it's just like, look, fuck you, buddy. But they've been doing great. Uh, we're still getting tracking, we're still getting packages, we're still... that That's a lot of what's connecting us together. Is, yeah, we can still order shit from Amazon. It's not next day delivery service, because they got more important shit to do than, you know, deliver me textbooks. But, they're still shipping out textbooks and stuff. So it's super appreciated, I still think it's great, and they've been doing an amazing job. We still see them all the time. And they stand out a lot more now because there's a whole lot less cars outside. Yes. And they, they all driving around. They all have the face mask. They're taking as many precautions as they can. So I deeply appreciate it. And I wanted to give them a shout out. Makes sense. That's a much more noble one than mine. Oh, yeah? What's yours? I want to do a shout out to this random song that my friend Roddick sent me. 
that for some reason, despite the fact that it's not a good song, it gets stuck in my head a lot. So you're doing a shout out to a bad song sent to you by a Polish person. Yes. Well, that sounds like you. I've, I've watched the video several times now, because it keeps getting in my head. Anyway, it's a song by a guy named Freddy Dread called Cha-Cha. You're going to make me listen to this in between episodes, aren't you? I, maybe. It's, it's not a good song. But, like, you know, like, the, the chorus is just like, Damn, son, these bitches want some. Hey, Freddy, can I, um, no, bitch, you fucking dumb. <laughs> I, I don't know. That, just that part in particular just loops in my head sometimes. Okay, we gotta listen to this. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not a good song, but I have to admit, it's kind of caught me here. Um, so I'm doing a shout out to that song in particular. I have not heard anything else by Freddy Dread. Uh, the video is the kind of thing that you would expect to wake up to if you left Adult Swim on when you went to sleep. And, like, you just woke up in the middle of the night, like, 2 a.m. Okay. I, I know exactly what you're talking about there. <laughs> exactly. So, I wouldn't even be surprised if that's where it was originally from. I don't I don't really know. But, yeah. So, shout out to that particular song. But, alright, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what a train wreck of an episode. Okay, yeah. thank you so much, folks. We'll, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Now put on that song.